All right, now, we're going to first focus on what are called homogeneous linear recurrence equations. And these have the form a constant times f of n plus d plus another constant times f of n plus d minus 1, da, 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 all the way out to some constant times f of n equals 0. So think back to the four examples that we started the class with. Two of them have this form, and two of them do not. So here's a totally artificial example, but it works well. On the top, I give a homogeneous equation of this type. I'm using now the function g, and the coefficients come from the complex number system. 2 plus 3i times g of n plus 3 minus 8 minus 7i times g of n plus 2, etc. And I, uh, I threw in my favorite 42. 42 is an integer, it's a real, it's a complex number, it just has zero imaginary part. And, of course, you can have some of these coefficients being zero, so some of the terms drop out. Okay, the first one is homogeneous because all the g terms are on the left and on the right, zero. Okay, now look at the second one. It's the same equation. Except on the right-hand side, I now have 2 minus i times 3 plus i to the n plus 12n cubed. So I have, outside the g terms, I have a non-zero expression on the right-hand side of the equation. So that's non-homogeneous. All right, so we're going to learn how to solve these. But we, it will eventually become clear that we have to do both of them at the same time. You can't, can't quite focus on the one and then do the other, because you need the non-homogeneous to really understand the homogeneous. OK, let me pause right here and ask you, do you understand the kind of thing that we're trying to do? We want to get a closed form solution to that. Closed form. I don't want to do computation. I want to write down g of n is this. OK. Uh, I'm going to use it at several times. You see that equation? I don't like that 2 plus 3i as the leading coefficient. So I could divide both sides by 2 plus 3i. So uh, there's reasons why it's, it's handy to have the leading coefficient just be 1. So if the leading coefficient is not 1, I'm going to divide by it. 